it's Moody here, and I'm just gonna make like a quick, I guess, not really tutorial, just like a little informative video of the export settings I use. Um, at yesterday I actually tried out these settings, they worked out a lot better than my old ones because I was like messing around with uh, uh, types of whatever export settings and first of all I use screen flow right here to record my things I love screen flow so much because the export time is like barely anything for me to export like a five minute video it takes like 15 minutes tops I think it's really not a lot. The conversion goes by super fast and it comes out great. So I'm not like waiting for an hour or two for it to uh, render. And so I use ScreenFlow. ScreenFlow is a program for my Mac. I run uh, Snow Leopard on my Mac and I use it. I'm trying to figure out what I want to say. Like, I think it's amazing because I've tried to use Movie Maker, not Movie Maker, wow, we're running into like windows here. I've tried to use iMovie and iMovie HD and uh, what's that other program they came out with? After Effects? I'm thinking of, I'm probably thinking of something of, uh, something else, but I, I've done like so many different things with so many different video editing programs and this screen recording program has been the best so far um, first of all the thing I don't like about it is that first you'd need to record uh, footage of some sort let's say for instance like right now I'm recording uh, my screen for you'd have to like record the screen first before the actual program editing options come up I'm not entirely sure if that's like if I can like just have it open like this whenever I start it but that's the one thing I dislike about it other than that it is perfect um, when I edit my things uh, I have to make sure that the crop settings are 256 by 192 that's the dimensions of the top screen and I only record the top screen with my uh, emulator and uh, once I do that, I just record over it. I speed it up times two. The edit speed option is right here. Show clip inspector and then the speed is set to 200 per clip. When I record with my Desmume, the, the clip is in like a few parts. I think they're like two gigabyte parts each. And it's fine so once I piece that all together I just turn down the volume of the actual clip and I record over it here you just like edit and you add recordings and I love using this program so much so once I do all that once I add my recording and here I just record my audio from my headset uh, I just export it file export and the settings I want to use well, the settings I used on my very last video turned out to be like fantastic. I go to I what do I want to title? I was just gonna title it Battle, and save to my desktop all the time. Not Windows Media. You want it to be Web High, and here you have to uh, you have to keep the scale at 1280 by 720. That's gonna be the 16 to 9 ratio that YouTube has. Um, if you do not do this, it's going to crop it or it's going to resize it. I forgot because I had to mess around with this. Like, I had to export like a file so many times to figure out what the problem was, and it turned out to be this. So, make sure that your scale is correct and the same as whatever you want to export it as. So, right now, my compression settings are H264, which are my old settings. I do not use this anymore. I use uh, MPEG-4 video. It turned out to be a lot better. Uh, I set the quality to best. I set the data rate to automatic and frame rate and keyframes just keep it at default. That's all good. Uh, the size I like to use there is a 1280 by 720 HD and then there's an HD 1280 by 720 16 to 9. Um, I honestly don't think there's a difference. I've tried both. The only difference I've noticed is like conversion time. For some reason, the 
the 16 to 9 ratio one takes longer for me to convert with. I don't know why, but I just use the 1280 by 720, um, and that works out fine for me. So, and the sound settings, I leave the top fine. It should look like this. Well, you just need to show advanced settings. Just make sure you check show advanced settings. That's all I really edit. I only edit the advanced settings. Set the quality to best. Leave average bitrate. And I set this to 192. And those are my sound settings. And I leave the check box next to prepare for internet streaming and fast start. That's all how it used to be. So. And that's all. These, if you have a Mac, these are the settings I prefer to use, and it comes out gorgeous. I think it comes out gorgeous. Um, I'm sure if you actually have Windows and you use, what's that other program? Uh, Vegas. I used to use Vegas too. I'm pretty sure you come out with probably better results. It's a more advanced editing program, but I am perfectly content with what I'm using now. So. Uh, I think that's it. Once I export this, we're we're good. The export time does not take a lot, and right now it's loading. <laughs> so you can trust me on this. Um, I prefer to use this. Uh, I guess I'll do another video on how I actually use my Mac and record the thing. I guess that's. I used to have a lot of trouble with that when I first started. Um, like I think once you get like. A sure like a whole uh, method of how you like you have a finalized method of how you export your thing and how you make it then it's gonna be a lot see the bar does not move slow at all it's gonna be done in like a few minutes um, so you can get screen flow I prefer to use it on my battles and I'll make another video uh, on how I record my uh, Pokemon battles because in my emulator and stuff and so uh, I'll do that and that's later and I think that's about it for now so bye guys comment rate sub